In this video, we'll be going over longest palindromic substring. So given a string S, return the longest palindromic substring in S. So in our first example, we have B A B A D, and our longest palindromic substring is B A B. And in our second example, we have C B B D, and our longest palindromic substring is B and B. So let's first go over the dot process. A palindromic substring, or let's say a, a palindromic string, is a string that can be read the same way forwards and backwards. This means if we expand outward from the center of the string, the pairs of characters will be the same. For example, if we expand from the center, we're going to com first compare A to A itself. We get A and A, so it's true. And then we have B and B. Is true is the same so we know it's, it's a palindromic string this means for each of the index i we have two choices we can expand outward from i itself which means a number of characters or expand outward from i and i plus one that means even number of characters for example if we're currently at this index at b and we want to expand outward from even number of characters so we expand the um at, at the current index and the next index we will want to keep track of the longest palindromic substring and also the starting index of the substring because we need to generate the substring later. So we need to keep track of the starting index and also the length of it. Now let's go over pseudocode. I'm going to create the following variables. We have the max length, so the maximum length of the palindrome of the palindromic substring. And then we have start the starting index of the substring. This one can be initially negative one. Now we're going to iterate through the indices of S. We can note it as I. And we're going to first find the length of the palindromic substring if we expand from I, which we're going to call it length one. And then find the length of the palindromic substring length two if we expand from i and i plus one we will take the larger value between length one and length two which we will denote as length itself and then if length is greater than max length we want to update max length to length and then we're going to find the starting point of our palindromic substring which is update start to i minus max, uh, length minus one divided by two and then we're going to return a substring from start to start plus max length minus one. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to all of n times two times n. So it's go to all of n squared where n is the length of the input string. This is because for each of the index i, we expand outward twice to find even and odd palindromic substrings. Now our space complexity, oh, this one more thing, we need to, it's also O of k plus O of k, and k 
is the length of the resulting substring. This is the generates result substring. Now space complexity is equal to of k, where k is the length of the resulting substring. Now let's go over the code. And we'll create our two variables. Our maximum length and also our starting point, the start of the palindromic substring. And we'll iterate through the indices of the input, of the input, uh, input string. And I'm going to expand outward from i and expand outward from i and i plus 1. So we want to take the larger value, get length of the palindromic substring, starting from i to i, and also expand our from i and i plus 1. Then we're going to take the larger value between the two. Then if max length is less than length, we're going to update max length to length. And then we're going to update the starting index of our substring. i minus the length minus 1 divided by 2. Then we're going to return a substring from start. Substring from start to start plus max length minus 1. We don't need to do the minus one because substring only takes the n exclusive. So it's automatically start plus max length minus one. Now we're gonna create our method to find the length of the palindromic substrings that we expand from the center. So in i and in j, which we are left and right boundaries in our input string. So if i oh if j is out bound, then the length will be equal to zero. And then we're going to find the length. So create a variable to keep track of length. If i is equal to j, we're going to start out with negative 1. Else we're going to start it from 0. Because each time the two characters are the same, we're going to increment by 2. And if i is equal to j, we start from negative 1. And if they're the same, we increment by 2. So we get 1. So let's, so let's do our loop. While i is not out of bound, and j is not out of bound, if the current characters are not the same, then we can just break out the loop. Then we can break. Inc then we increment length by 2. And then we're going to move our pointers. We're going to left our, move our left boundary leftward and our right boundary rightward. So decrement i and increment j. Then we're going to return the length. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below.